Welcome, this is Rockin' Robbins, and we're going to do a little investigation today. The other day on a discussion on a YouTube video, I ran into a flat earther who said that uh, if the Earth is rotating around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour, if the sun is orbiting the center of the galaxy at 225,000 miles per hour, if the galaxy itself is moving toward the great attractor at 1.5 million miles an hour, shouldn't everything just jump around the sky like crazy and kind of have unpredictable positions from these astoundingly unbelievable movements? Well, let's take a look. Let's do a little investigation. We're using Universe Sandbox Squared, which is a an actual animated scale model of the universe available through Steam. It costs about $39.95. You can get it cheaper at times. It's a bargain. This is the solar system as it is right now, moving in real time at real speed. You can see the inner planets here. We've zoomed in where Jupiter is kind of an outer planet. That cloud around Jupiter is all of Jupiter's moons which are too bright, but in order to see them, they have to be represented that way in the simulation. But here are the positions right now of the Sun, Venus, Earth, and Mars in their orbits. And yes, the Earth is moving at 67,000 miles per hour. Can you see it move? I can't. But we're not doing that. We're trying to find out how fast really is 1.5 million miles per hour? We're going to use a little yardstick for this. Let's center the Earth. We'll double click the Earth. That'll center it in our field of view. With a scroll wheel, we can move in as close as we wish. And we will move in close enough to see the Earth and the Moon together. There we go. Let's just put the Moon almost in the field of view. This is the Earth. It's rotating at 1 1440th of 1 RPM. The surface happens to be moving at a tangential speed of a thousand miles per hour, but you're looking at it as it is. Actually rotating at that speed. Can you see it rotate? I can. But that's not what we're here for either. We're here to find out how fast is 1.5 million miles per hour. Now this program has a feature in the toolbox called Light Pulse right there, where you can launch a ring or a sphere of particles of any velocity from the selected body. We are going to launch a light pulse from Earth that moves at 1.5 million miles per hour. So let's click that. Now the big deal here is this program doesn't speak miles per hour. It, of course, it's a scientifically inclined program. You have to figure something out. So we'll do it in kilometers per second. Uh, all you have to do, go to your Google search engine, type in the search box 1.5 million MPH in KPS, and it'll tell you that it's 670 and a fraction. We're going to speed that up to 671 kilometers per second. That is the same speed as 1.5 million miles per hour. Let's launch that light pulse from Earth at 1.5 million miles an hour. I'm going to give you a countdown because if, you, if I don't, you could miss it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Double click. This is astounding. Let's zoom in close so we can see how fast this is. I am impressed. Why well, it's moved almost almost 7,900 miles so far. It's just cruising, man. 
1.5 million miles per hour. If the galaxy rim were right here and it were moving toward the moon, it would have moved this far so far. Remember that the Earth-Moon yardstick is like measuring your height in nanometers. Or possibly, possibly microns, if you're an American. It's ridiculous. You get billions and billions of microns is your height. And you can say, that's such a big number, that's impossible. Well, that's what we're doing right here. We're throwing the numbers out the window. We're looking at what does 1.5 million miles per hour really look like on a short yardstick, Earth to Moon. We're talking galaxies here moving this fast. These galaxies are 100,000 light years in diameter. The disk of the galaxy takes at the speed of light, 100,000 years to move its own length through space, but it's only moving one seven hundredth of that speed. It's moving 671 kilometers per second. It's moving the speed that this light ring is expanding from Earth toward the moon. Did you start a stopwatch? Do you know how long that's going to take? Some facts about the universe are a whole lot stranger than your brain is capable of comprehending, unless you get your nose rubbed in it like I'm doing right now. I don't care whether you believe in a spherical Earth or a flat Earth. You don't have a clue how things work. And this program, Universe Sandbox Squared, can tell you. Uh-oh. Are we not recording? No, we're not. Well, that's terrible. Let's continue this thing. I'll synchronize it with the reenactment later. So what did I say in my comments earlier? I said, I found a way to show how fast 1.5 million miles an hour is. I hope you're amazed before you're bored, because we're not even halfway to the moon yet. We're only talking about the yardstick of Earth to the moon, which is a very, very, very short distance. And we're bored. Imagine if we were zoomed out to where the galaxy were as large as the oval we're looking at as this circle of light. Is there any way we could tell that the Milky Way were moving? If it were moving at this speed, one and a half million miles an hour? No instrument on Earth could tell you. It would be a hundred years before it would move a single pixel on this 900 by 1600 screen here. 1.5 million miles per hour to a galaxy is functionally equal to zero. Even on the scale of Earth to the moon, it's very, very slow. But we're going to make you suffer. We're going to wait until one and a half million miles per hour gets from Earth to the moon. We're halfway there, aren't we? That pulse also is moving at one and a half million miles per hour. Just thought I'd add some variety. Universe Sandbox Squared contains thousands of asteroids. All the planets, all the known moons, and it's updatable.
as they discover new objects they can be entered into Universe Sandbox Squared and periodically they issue updates. Are we there yet? Sorry. By the way, which direction is the sun? Let's look at the let's look at the moon here and see if we can find out, huh? Yeah, I have to center the moon. I can't do that while I've got the uh, pulse function up. We'll kill the pu kill the pulse function. I said we'll kill the pulse function. There we go. Let's zoom in on the moon here. Which direction is the sun? Also notice, we've got the moon between us uh, and the Earth. And we're quite close to the moon. Which one looks larger here? Why the moon looks larger? Why? Because we're close to it. The Earth looks small because we're far from it. This is another thing that people talk about photos from satellites that don't look real because the moon is so much bigger than the earth. Well, I'm sorry, I've seen you down the beach and you look mighty small compared to the car I'm standing beside, but that doesn't mean that my eyes are lying to me. Now, let's take a look at this. See how the moon's illuminated here? And if we take a look, if we stand behind the moon, look, there's the sun. Let's take a look at the phase of the Earth and the, and, the, and the Moon. Note that they are absolutely identical. Why? Because the Sun is 93 million miles away. And this is a scale model of the solar system. This shows the real proportions of the solar system. Getting close to the end of the video. Are you bored yet? I am. One and a half million miles per hour. 667 kilometers per second. Unimaginably fast. Why, if that were happening, we'd probably all explode. Or not. And it's coming up to the moon now. This is Rockin' Robbins. I hope you're bored.